Oh, there's one. Good one too. I thought he swallowed it, but it's under his chin. There we go. That's a nicer fish. Yes, sir. Another one. That's definitely a thing, then. Oh, yeah. Golly. Even better than I thought. All right, boy. How'd you do? One stinking fish. Yeah, we're jumping catching 20 pounds a day. Well, on Thursday. This run is not going to be fun, but see if I can get a little bit of redemption today at least. Oh, there's a good one, I think. Goodness gracious. Come here, dude. Come here. All right. All right. Finally got me a good fish during a tournament, not just during practice. Golly. Oh, there's a good one. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is a big fish, I think. Oh yeah, big one. Absolute monster. Oh my gosh. Tying on a few baits here, obviously. Getting ready for a practice day here at Stillhouse Hollow Lake. We've got our club championship tournament this weekend here. I'm here with my dad and my uncle. That's his boat right back there. My dad and my uncle are fishing together. I will be fishing solo on this tournament. I was supposed to have my nephew with me, but he ended up canceling on me. So, like I said, I'll be by myself for our championship tournament here. Fishing for over $1,000 first place. So, pretty good payday if I can win it by myself. It's gonna be a tough task though. We've got a lot of good people in this club. A lot of good people showing up to this tournament, so not going to be an easy one to win at all like always but this one will be a little extra tough i think we're here on thursday because tomorrow friday the day before the tournament it's supposed to be really bad weather actually it's supposed to be really windy really rainy really cold today's supposed to be a good day and then the two tournament days are supposed to be good but friday is supposed to be pretty wild weather we've had some really weird weather patterns to start the year off so the spawn is not quite what it should be right now, I don't think. It's uh, March 8th, so they should be should be all up on beds right now, usually this time of year, but the water temperature is 51 right now, that's what I'm reading, so that's a little bit cold to be spawning, but they got to be coming soon, because like I said, the time of the year, but I don't know, this water temperature's got me a little bit spooked, so I'm gonna be looking for fish that are close to spawning stuff, but maybe not actually spawning. Well, it's been about an hour. Haven't figured anything out as far as catching fish yet. Haven't got a bite, haven't even seen a bass. Seen quite a few spots that look like beds, but haven't even seen a single fish on them or even cruising around, so. Not sure exactly what's going on here. I don't know if I just need to move locations totally, if I need to go out a little bit deeper. Not exactly sure what's up right now. Just got my first bite. I wasn't recording actually when I got it, but decent fish on a little soft jerk bait. 
not a bad one not a bad one at all like i said first bite of the day we're about two hours in now golly stuck that dude hard too he wasn't ever coming off of there there we go good little fish golly built real nice real stocky little dude probably at least two pounds decent little fish like i said that was my first bite of the day right there on a soft jerk bait amongst these hardwood trees fish just flashed up out of one of these hardwoods and smashed it crazy actually got hung up on the tree back here with my big motor and I was trying to figure out how to get off of it with the trolling motor and the fish ate it right over top of that tree just broke him right off golly looked like a good one too when he flashed big bed right here holy cow big obvious bed don't see a fish anywhere around it though Well, no more bites here. Fished through the rest of this whole pocket right here. Got those three bites pretty quick right back there, but haven't got bit again since then. So I think I'm just gonna focus on trying to find some feeding fish. Pretty much conceded to the fact that they're probably not gonna be spawning enough to win a tournament catching them that way so I don't know seen a lot of beds but I haven't even seen a single fish on them yet so gonna go try to locate some just regular feeding fish right now make a move up the lake well it's about 11 o'clock now four hours into the day Still only got those three bites back at that one spot. All in that one little area, so. Not exactly sure what's going on here. I cannot get bit at all right now though. Came up here up river to a little bit dirtier water with a lot more grass and a bunch of rock and hardwood on this bank here, but man, didn't even get a whole bank, didn't even get a bite running this whole bank, so. Man, it's just not good right now. Not good at all. Man, this is tough, tough, tough. I'm all the way back here in this creek thinking that maybe I could find some back here in this grass and it's a little bit dirtier water, but nothing going on back here it's crazy too it's 10 feet deep out in the middle almost all the way back here but I'm just not holding any fish right now wow crazy how he just flips that plane around like that that is insane. Wow. Wow. He's just slinging it around. Gee whiz. Insane, dude. No way would I do anything like that. No 
There was a nice bass chasing it right there. It was weird. He was following it at a weird pace. Wouldn't really running it down, running it down, but he wouldn't just swimming either. He was looking like he was just about to fire on it, but he just never did. Oh, there's one. Good one too. Golly. Crush that rattle trap. Jeez, hard fighting son of a gun too. He's just a decent fish. He's not that big, but he's fighting hard. Oh, it's because I've got him under the chin. I thought he swallowed it, but it's under his chin. There we go. That's a nicer fish. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind we need right there. Way out off the end of this point. There's a bunch of grass out here. A whole bunch of grass. Big old duckweed balls. Been uh, just yo-yoing this rattle trap out of, in and out of that grass. That one followed me just a minute ago and then just caught that one. That's a nice one there. God, that fish is thick. That's at least three probably pushing four he's so fat golly anyway that's the kind we need right there oh you know what i'm gonna take a selfie real quick all righty well that's a nice fish there like i said five of those won't be doing good in the tournament so there you go mama get on your way go ahead and mark this spot i actually just marked it and now I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I don't want to mess with these fish anymore before the tournament starts. That's that one good one that I just caught and then I had another good one follow me up. So this is definitely a spot I'll be coming back to, especially with the lack of bites I had this afternoon. Getting those two pretty quick there was a really good sign for this spot. The only bad thing about that last spot where I just caught them was not sure I can replicate that anywhere on this lake. That's just a real, real shallow flat point for a long, long ways out in the middle of the lake with some big old duckweed balls on it. I think that's a really, really unique part actually of the lake. Might be exactly why those fish are even there. Yes, sir. Another one. Another one. Stroking that rattle trap in the grass. That's definitely a thing, then. Definitely a thing. Another good fish, too. Same kind of grass. Those duckweed balls out there. Off the bank. Golly. These suckers are strong, I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, golly, even better than I thought. About the same as that last one, he's so thick. Oh my goodness gracious, is that fish thick. Golly, they are footballs in this lake, I'll tell you what. Goodness gracious. And since this is the same type of water, I got another good bite. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this place alone again. One good bite is all I need to show me. I need to come back here. Take another selfie real quick. Alrighty. Another really solid fish, golly. That fish is an absolute football, just thick all the way through. Probably another three and a half, four pounder. Another good one. Oh yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this spot alone too. Good news is it's real close to the other spot too, so got two spots real close to each other. Some more decent looking duckweed balls here, but these one these ones aren't quite far enough off the bank, I don't think. Both of those 
last two spots that I just caught fish on, duckweed came out way far off the bank. Big clumps way out there, but this spot, it seems to stop right about here. I think it needs to be in just a little bit deeper water. Well, I looked for some more of that kind of water and I couldn't find any really, so just trying to find another pattern now. Fishing a different little bank here than I fished all day. This is kind of a secondary little point coming up right here with some little rock that turns into bigger rock. A lot of times little transition spots like that will hold fish. Hmm. I think that's my uh my old fishing partner there, the guy that I fished with for a couple of years when my boat was down. Oh yeah, that's him for sure. Just heard him talk. That's definitely him. Anyway, it's the guy I was fishing with while my boat was down. It's funny, we get separate and then we end up in the same area. <laughs> Crazy how that works sometimes. Golly, it's another one of our club members there too. Well, he fished through this whole pocket here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on somewhere else. Try to find some fresh water. See if my rattle trap will get down in that grass a little bit and rip out. fish fall on the rattle trap again looked like a decent one too so wow rattle trap is definitely definitely the bait to be throwing right now Ooh, golly there was another fish falling my jerk bait okay a couple of fish down here now neither one of them committed but that one was following pretty good, but I actually went to adjust my trolling motor. Maybe if I was up here twitching like I was supposed to, he would have ate it, but it's kind of not even doing my bait like I was really supposed to. Golly, that looked like an even better one too. That looked like one of the ones I caught, maybe even a little bit better. That was definitely not a small fish. All right, well, it's flattened out a little bit, or a lot actually. I haven't seen any more followers, haven't had another bite or anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and push back here into this marina. This is actually where we launched this morning, so I'm just gonna finish up looking inside here real quick and then be done with the day. Well, there's my dad and my uncle, so we're just about to leave not quite the day that I was expecting or that I wanted didn't even land five fish but I did see a pretty good bag at least and landed a few of them getting ready to launch here for the tournament this morning it is absolutely freezing cold just looked at my weather app right before we pulled up here and it said it's 25 degrees so it is an absolutely freezing cold morning here in South Texas. Well, I tried to make an intro clip just a little while ago and my camera actually shut off in the middle of doing it and my battery went to zero. And then I just changed batteries and the same thing happened, but then it turned on for a second here so I can make this little intro clip, but 
Golly, I hope it doesn't keep shutting off throughout the day. I think it got so cold it shut off. I am fishing solo here, but I'm gonna wait for my dad to get in my uncle's boat here just to make sure they got everything all settled and ready to go. Oh gosh. Trying to cast with these rubber gloves on is gonna be difficult. And into the wind right here too, dang it. Wasn't, be, wasn't supposed to be much wind this morning, but it's actually pretty darn breezy. Golly, you know what? It's so windy that I don't even know if I want to throw this weightless steel right now. I think what I want to do actually is put on a spinner bait. Dang it. Didn't have a spinner bait tied up. I wish I would have now. I think they'll be able to locate that little fluke in all this wind like this. I don't like it. All right, now I'm gonna run the spinnerbait along these trees like I was planning on doing with that little jerkbait. Dang it. Oh no, there might be a tree right there. Felt like a fish bumped it though to me. Yeah. I don't feel a tree there. Golly, that wind makes it cold. This is crazy. It is insane the things we do to catch these little green fish. What the heck was that? Oh no. Somehow punched my button when I went to pull my bait and just absolutely, completely backlashed my reel and tangled it around all this stuff. Are you kidding me right now? What in the world did I even just do? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. What a crazy, crazy morning. Please, ice on my guides are making it hard to cast again. It just happened again. I'm not punching the reel. I don't know what's going on. I think my reel is messing up somehow. Dang it. And now it's all jacked up this time. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not really happening right now, is it? Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna mess with this right now. Oh man. I was about to leave this spot anyway. I wasn't really confident what I was doing here, but golly. I'm gonna have to mess with that later. God dang. Well, I thought I was recording just now, but I wasn't. Just had a big old debacle. Backlash the second reel, so went up against the bank there and took the time to re-spool two reels. It took me about 30 minutes, so didn't like killing all that time in the tournament, but I had to get it done. Actually, the grass is, I think, deeper out here, so I'll try to crank down to it with this little frit side. So I get further back in here where the cl shallower clumps are. Yep, there's one. Oh no, golly! Thought I had a fish. 
That's a dog on line, golly. It sure started pulling like a fish does. Dang it. All right, still no fish in the boat. It's 10 o'clock, my GPS says 11, but it's actually 10. But still, 10 o'clock, no fish in the boat. Not good, not good at all. Wow, I am totally confused right now. I've now fished three of spots I caught fish yesterday. I haven't got a single bite yet, not even a follow, nothing. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe one bite, but that wasn't even definite. Ah, oh, little tiny guy, holy cow. That is not what should be living over here. That's crazy. Sheesh. <laughs> this fish actually hit it pretty good too. I thought it was gonna be a good fish again. Like that one I caught over here yesterday, but or day before yesterday. Had all that crazy wind and rain and everything yesterday, so we didn't get to pre-fish on Friday, but the Thursday we did. And this is where I caught my best fish right here. Golly, man. Can't believe that tiny little guy is what bit today. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. I cannot believe the one fish I catch today is an absolute peanut. I have never caught a fish that small even in this lake. Of course, today I do. Fish, dang it. Me up. There's one. Oh no. Ah, that one pulled me down and I just set the hook. Golly. I just pulled into him because you just kept pulling down, pulling away. Gosh. I don't know how I missed that fish. Golly. He hit it hard and was just taken off with it. I set the hook into him and nothing there. Goodness gracious. Golly, that stinks bad. Still got no fish in the boat. It's 10.54. It felt real good to get one right there. Doing something completely different too. Dragging a Carolina rig on this point. Pulled up to this point over here and it just looks real good. Could spawn right in that little pocket. Can feed right out here on this bank. And this little point is a good stopping spot for whatever they're wanting to do. Got a whole bunch of good feeling rock down there too. A lot of good feeling stuff. That's why I Man, when I first felt that fish, actually, I thought it was pulling into a rock. So it just started pulling away, pulling away, pulling away, and then nothing there when I swung. Oh, fish. Oh, golly! What in the world? Golly! That one donked it hard too. And then just nothing there when I set the hook. Ah, I didn't even let that one pull me down. I just felt the donk and then just reeled down and set the hook like you're supposed to on a Carolina rig and nothing there at all. Again, golly. Back up a little bit here and keep casting on this point. Another bite. It's the third bite now I've gotten on this point. I'm pretty sure that first one that I felt was a bite too. Because right after that is when I missed that first fish. 
So that's at least two, probably three bites on this point pretty quick. Golly, but I haven't landed any of them. That stinks. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna crank this bank now. Golly, cannot believe I didn't land any of those fish that bit me on that point. That is super, super frustrating. There's one. All right. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Wow. That fish came up pretty close to the boat, too, and absolutely crushed it. My crankbait just came over a little tree limb right there, and that fish absolutely smashed it. That was nice. All right. Well, I'm not going in empty handed. It's got one decent fish at least. Well, that fish hit it like he meant it. I don't know why I'm having such a problem getting more reaction bites and why I couldn't hook any of those three on my Carolina rig, but golly, that one there, he ate it like he wanted it, like they're supposed to. All right, well, I'm gonna try to find more places like that, I guess. Good main lake, pretty steep cranking banks I guess is what I'm going to be looking for I did get those three bites on a Carolina rig but you got to fish that thing so slow that I don't know exact spots to fish but I do know that was a good one that just ate my crankbait so they're not afraid to eat so I'm going to keep covering water and try to find some crankbait fish all right three o'clock that's it that is all she wrote for today that was crazy i can't believe i couldn't find me any more crankbait fish but i couldn't i kind of ran out of bank to even fish on the way down here thought i was going to find more steep banks i wanted to crank but i found a few but not enough apparently because i didn't catch any more fish on that crankbait One stinking fish. Well, on Thursday. What'd you have, John? 21? 21 11? Wow. What'd you have? One stinking fish. It's tough out there. I don't know what the heck guys do. I don't know, dude. I think they're going to do that in a minute. Yeah, we'll do the side pot in a minute. 1227. Marcus and Tony. Yep. Junior. One fish. Have you paid John already? Yep. I told my buddy his kids are gonna be there too, so we're gonna have to do different. One fish bigger than all my three. Two fifteen. Great bunch of gifts. I had twelve. Our big ones, uh I heard uh Well, we're idling out here for day two. I'm uh, out of the tournament, pretty much. It would have to be an absolute miracle to win this thing now. I'd have to catch a giant bag and the leaders would have to fall completely off the face of the earth because I only had two pounds and the leaders have 23 and 21. So I am definitely just out of this tournament, just trying to fish for a little bit of fun, a little bit of redemption today tournament started at 6 30 i actually chilled in my truck for an hour because 
we had a time change last night so it was dark for an hour this morning when the tournament started but i wasn't too gung-ho on getting out here in the freezing cold so i waited about an hour it's still pretty darn cold this run is not going to be fun but see if i can get a little bit of redemption today at least It is, but there's a fish. Nah, not very good, but it's a keeper. A lot quicker start than yesterday, at least. Not the kind we need at all, but it was a fish. Goodness gracious. That one absolutely crushed it. Because it feels like he's got a lot of weight to him too. This could be a big one here. Pretty nice one. In a bunch of grass. Come here, dude. Come here. Alright. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. There's a good one. There's a good one. Oh yeah. You look good too. We're never coming off of there. All right. Finally got me a good fish during the tournament, not just during practice. Golly. This has been a rough, rough go lately during the tournament. That practice day was fun, but this tournament has not been so far. Except for that right there. That was pretty cool. That felt good. Oh, shoot. Big old lay down right here. Golly. I'm gonna mark this actually so I can come back and fish it. Mark number 19 is right on that big old lay down. <laughs> that again later because that's a big beautiful lay down right there that could definitely hold a fish another keeper not a good one but it's number three I was actually just about to reel up my spinnerbait wonder if maybe that's a clue that I need to be speeding my spinnerbait up pretty quick every once in a while try to get a reaction bite out of them well doing a lot better than yesterday already three keepers in the boat and one pretty good one so I guess I can't complain too much about the day. Redeem myself at least a little bit already. All right, I'm gonna make a move real quick here. Actually over to this point, not very far away, just right over here. I'm actually gonna run the bank first. That's the point where I had all those uh, Carolina rig fish yesterday that I missed. And then I ran the bank with a crankbait and caught a good one, or, or a decent one anyway. So I'm gonna run that bank real quick. See if they're eating some moving baits over there too. All right, well, nothing fishing down that bank or dragging that point. So I'm gonna make one more trip on that big flat point where I was catching those spinnerbait fish. Don't have to move on and try to find some more water like that. There's one. 
actually before I even got to my point, I was fishing just around the corner a little bit. Before I got to Close your mouth, boy. Huh? Maybe it is. Ah. Barely touching the line right there. Oh, yeah. He is, though, for sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's a 14-inch fish, anyway. There's four keepers. I'm running into the bank here, though. Dang it. That wind is really picking up, by the way, too, so this lake gets pretty dangerous when it's windy like this. So I'm actually going to have to make my way back towards the ramp pretty quick here. I am not going to hang around and get caught up in something dangerous on the way back to the ramp. You know what? This water is so clear right now, and the sun is so bright. I'm actually going to throw this little finesse spinner bait now that I got tight on here. This little finesse spinner bait will be a little bit better with how clear and bright it is right now. Obviously still want to eat the spinner bait. They will for sure, but I think it might need to just downsize just a little bit, make it a little bit more finesse, a little more presentable. Doesn't look like just a big gaudy flashing spinner bait. dang it dang it that was a good one right there i saw the flash when i set the hook golly oh that would be my fifth keeper too dang it God. that was a good fish there i don't think it was big I'm not talking like four or five pounds like the one i caught earlier but it's like one of those first two is a good one for sure dang it It's actually making me wonder if I should just go back to my regular size spinner bait because smaller spinner bait obviously has a smaller hook on it. I don't really like that in bigger fish's mouths. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back to it. They might eat this just fine right now. It is pretty, pretty darn windy, so maybe the water will be broken up enough to where they'll eat this just fine. This spinner bait is not itself that big of a spinner bait actually. It's like a half ounce, but it's got real small willow leaf blades on it. It's actually called a baby, or a, not a baby burner. That other one I got tied on as a baby burner. This is just a regular burner. It's got those small blades like that because it's meant for burning real fast, but also it, it allows you to roll a little slower too if you want to keep it lower in the water. Yo, you're going over a point. <laughs> wow. That dude is about to run right over this shallow point. Big fish, I think. Oh yeah, big one. Absolute monster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big fish. Have to net him. Get in there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 
Now that is a number five right there. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes! Oh, I'm glad I kept throwing this spinnerbait. Oh, I'm glad I kept throwing it. This is that baby burner too, that one that I missed that fish on earlier. But I just had a feeling in this super clear water, you needed a little bit smaller spinnerbait. Oh my gosh. That's a good in there. It's not a giant giant like I first thought, but it's a pretty darn good one. That's it. That's at least six, maybe like seven. Whoo! Okay. Now that was fun right there. I guess that made up for all the all the heartache and everything yesterday. Goodness gracious, that was fun. I'm trying to get out here away from the pocket so I can refish this again too, because she might not be the only one there. You know what? I'm actually gonna start the big motor and head that way a little bit because it's blowing so fast. Okay, now I can deal with this fish. She was hooked good on that one. It wouldn't come off. Got a funky lip too. <laughs> Got a split in her lip. <laughs> Man, she ain't very pretty, but I'll take her. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Whoo! Oh, thank you, Jesus. My goodness, I'm still shaking from that. Oh my gosh. Whoo! Thank you, Jesus, literally. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's do that again. That was incredibly fun. Whoo! big but should call my smallest fish I'm pretty sure oh yeah that'll call for sure all right all righty no more line scratcher in there all right called that little guy out and I got five for sure now that is absolutely miraculous and definitely by the grace of God because I was completely lost coming into today honestly I didn't have a clue what I was gonna do I mean, I guess I had a clue, but I didn't know if it was going to work out at all, but it's working out pretty darn good, I'd say. Oh, yeah, that calls for sure. All right, pretty darn sure. That fish is 14 easy, I think. Oh, yeah, 15 and a half inch fish. All right. Toss this little guy out. There we go. All right. Now that's five for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, wow, wow. What a feeling to have five right now. You guys have no idea how upset I was yesterday. The hissy fit I threw. I am not deserving of this day at all, but gosh, I'm so glad that God gave it to me. This is amazing. It's not even a huge bag, but just <laughs> the comeback from yesterday is incredible. Oh man, this wind is getting crazy though. I'm gonna leave here in a little bit. I don't want to turn a good day into a horrible day by having something bad happen. We've got an hour and 20 minutes until the last cast, but I don't want to be pushing it and running back to the ramp real quick right at three o'clock because you do have to weigh in by 345 so if it took me too long to get over there then I wouldn't even be able to weigh in so I'm not going to try to leave right at three o'clock or two o'clock actually is our weigh in today I forget it's Sunday so it's two o'clock anyway I'm not going to try to just run real quick right at two o'clock get back there in time to weigh in that would be extremely dumb at this point don't need to push it. There's no reason to. All right, I'm gonna end my day right here in the same spot I did yesterday, actually. 
even though I didn't catch any fish, I actually saw quite a few cruisers that had moved up here real quick. So just gonna throw along here and try and get one more fish here before weigh in. It was fun at least. Hey. Hey. I just want to see what this one weighs. I know it's not a big fish. Exactly. Yesterday was he was he was ready to freaking did you call her call her later today? No. What did you weigh? 582. What kind of big fish is that? I don't know. You see that? It was split. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I had about 16, 17. I thought it was bigger than that. That was 16. Thank you, sir. I was going to ask you if you need a Well, that's about the bag I figured I had. I figured I had 16, 17 pounds. I thought that bigger one actually weighed a little bit more, but I realized when I pulled her out, she was a little bit skinny. I'm not complaining though at all. Like I said, that was a ridiculously blessed day for me. As bigger than mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's your PB right there? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, we gotta get to We gotta get the chicks. Anyways, we were being real frustrated. We finally got the box out. We got the box. 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 And I decided to create a little bit of a cast with it. I put that one. I know, look at the belly on that thing, dude. You want another one or no? No, I have one more. I have one more. I had two today. Yeah, he had two today. He caught the one that got us going, that's for
on Thursday? I didn't. I got here with Friday. I mean, uh, Friday. Uh, we uh, <laughs> the pattern. But one area where we started, we caught two yesterday. 